Hello? Yeah, yeah. I'm still in the office. I'm heading home now. Yeah, yeah, I sold them all. Because then we may have gone too far. I mean, I was on the phone with him, but we got caught up before he, he hung up. I don't know. I'm gonna go around there in the morning. Okay, bye. I wake up at 6am to my alarm. I get out of bed and get dressed. I walk to my desk and pick up my hollow hood and turn my alarm off. I put on my glasses and leave my room for the kitchen as I do each and every morning. I enter the kitchen and flick on the kettle. I add coffee to my cup and wait for the kettle to boil. Getting lost in my own dark thoughts. I'm back to my room where I change into a t-shirt. And decide on music for the day. Every day I open my hood only to see that my e-credits are at zero. Play me something inspirational I leave my room and head to my office where I work on my art First thing I do when I enter the room is look out the window while smoking the only cigarette I have left. I smoke it so carefully as to not finish it before being able to afford more. <sighs> After my brief reunion with nicotine, I sit at my desk and stare at a blank canvas, hoping that the music choice for this day will spark some kind of new creativity.
but unfortunately it does not. I wake up to my 6am alarm. I get out of bed, I get dressed. I pick up my hollow hood and turn off my alarm. I put on my glasses and head to the kitchen. Turn on the kettle and add coffee to my cup. I wait for the kettle to boil, all the time being left with the ever-growing dark thoughts of my mind. I'm afraid that if my art does not sell soon, I may never feel anything other than emptiness again. I head back to my room with my coffee. I open my hood. Today's Saturday. Hmm. It's Saturday. I guess I could take a break like everyone else. I decided to take a break and sit at my desk to watch TV. Whoa. Oh my me. <laughs> Last night a man was arrested in the Southern District for attempting to steal e-credits from the public as they passed him in the street. It is reported that he was screaming, I feel so numb, let me feel something. The man is thought to be a 28-year-old Chris Kennedy, a former employee of the Valentine Energy Facility that shut down three months ago and has recently been demolished. In related news, unemployment rates are at an all-time high, sparking more and more cases of unhappiness among families. More on that later. I wonder if these problems are still around when this was currency. I look at the coin from years past. I wonder what it was like back then. Simpler times. The man, Chris Kennedy, he lost his job three months ago and reached a point where he couldn't take life without emotion anymore. I struggled for longer. Is that my fate? Will I eventually lose all hope and do something drastic? Let's try smooth jazz. Hello. Yeah, I'm actually working on something right now. Would it be possible for me to come have a look, say tomorrow? Tomorrow? Uh, yeah, that sounds fine, yeah. Okay, fine. See you then. Alright then, yeah. Alright, okay, I'll see you then. My art dealer called me and gave me a glimmer of hope. He said that he may have a few people interested in my art. This could be it. He's coming tomorrow to see the piece. I wake to my 6am alarm. I get up, get dressed. Grab my hollow hood and turn off the alarm. 
I put my glasses on and head to the kitchen to make my coffee. I head back to my room. Change into a t-shirt. As I'm leaving my room to go to my office, I hear a knock at the door. It must be Albert. Morning, Will. Uh, morning. So what's this new piece you've been working on? Oh, uh, come here. Definitely so. Yeah, well, none of the others have, so. Yeah. Well, this one's quality. Is it finished? Uh, no, no, yeah, I've still got like, some touching up to do, but. Oh, well, can I, we'll be done tomorrow. Can I send someone around? I mean, I can try and get it finished for tomorrow. Right, I'll send someone around tomorrow to get it. Okay. I showed Albert the piece. He wanted to take it today, but I still have some work to do on it. If this is going to be the one that sells, I want it to be good. You better sell. I don't know how much more of this I can take. I finish up the canvas and head out of my office to bed. Yeah, I might as well just now. No, there's nothing wrong. Stop worrying, he doesn't know. Why are you worrying? There's nothing wrong. Look. He thinks the paintings aren't selling, meanwhile we're making a killing. Yeah, I saw the news. Nothing like that's gonna happen to us. There's nothing wrong. Stop worrying. Nothing's wrong, right? I'm at his house now. I'll talk to you later. Morning, well. Morning. So what's this new piece you've been working on? Oh, uh, come here. Hello? Yeah, it's me. Just seen the latest canvas. It's fantastic. Oh yeah, I'll go as soon as it hits the market, no problem. No, he's not got a clue. He just thinks they're not selling. What? No, 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 no one will find out. It's nobody. Yeah, I'll send over your share once it's sold. I'm sending a courier around in the morning to collect it. No, it's just this one time. Alright, bye. Hello? This is Albert Jakeman. Could you send a courier around to Leon Davis' house, please, in the morning? Great, thank you. Oh, and could you collect any other pieces that Mr. Davis may have? Great, thank you very much. I wake up. Get dressed. Grab my hollow hood and turn off my alarm. If this piece sells, then I no longer need to spend all day working. I can finally feel something. I grab my glasses and head to make my coffee. I come back to my room, change into a t-shirt. I have a bad feeling that this canvas won't sell like all the others haven't. There's a knock at the door. It's the courier here to collect the canvas for Albert. Hi 
Uh, so I'm here to pick up a package from Mr. Jakeman. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, he also instructed me to give me any finished projects he might have. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Thank you very much. Can you just touch your finger on there, please, mate? Thank you. Have a good day. Yeah, you too. He said that Albert wanted all my other pieces, too. That doesn't make sense. I gave them to him anyway. It's not like they're going to sell. The worst part about finishing a piece of work is that I have to start a new one while I await the inevitable bad news. I sit staring at the canvas as it seems to be staring back at me, mocking me. It's as if it knows that I can't ever succeed, that I'm eternally doomed to feel nothing. Oh wow. It's late. Six AM, I wake up. I get dressed. Turn off my damned alarm and go to the kitchen to make my coffee. Today is a bad day, I can feel it already. Even now as I look out of my window smoking the cigarette, the only one I have, and it's almost gone. The world goes on and I'm still here, struggling with my so-called art that doesn't sell. Albert called and told me that he sold other people's art, but not of mine. What's wrong with me? Am I not good enough? Is Albert not trying hard enough? Crash my office, throw my out to the floor where it belongs. I'm gonna finish what remains of my last cigarette. finished.
Hello? Yes, this is Mr. Jaquin. I was calling about your inquiry the other day to the David's paintings. Yeah, we just got some more in. Yeah, that sounds like a good offer. Let me just check with Mr. David's and I'll call you back. Hello, yes, this is Albert Jamin calling you back. Mr. David said that would be a fantastic offer. He's willing to sell straight away. Great. Send him over first thing in the morning. Hello, Hello Leon. Albert Jamin here. I've had a few people interested over the past few days in some other pieces. Sadly, I haven't been able to sell any of yours. If you get me some more pieces, then... Hello? Leon? Are you there? Hello? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still in the office. I'm heading home now. Yeah, yeah, I sold them all. Look, it's only made gone too far. I mean, I was on the phone with him, but we got caught up before he, he hung up. I don't know. I'm gonna go around there in the morning. Okay, bye. I wake up at 6am to my alarm, I get out of bed, 